Good morning, boys and girls. Well, we are now on the second I am statement of Jesus. Yesterday, we talked about the first I am statement, which was, do you remember? I am the bread of life. That's right. So today, we are on the second I am statement, and it is, I am the light of the world. So I am so excited to get started with you today. So Jesus is saying, I am the light of the world. Before we go any further, though, I want to say something that a very clever, um, intelligent friend of mine once told me. And he said, if you want to be like Jesus, then you need to be in the Gospels. And what are the four Gospels again? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And remember, they are four separate books written by four different people, but they are all different accounts of Jesus when he was on this earth. And so if we want to be like Jesus, we need to be in the Gospels every day, at least part of one Gospel every day. Maybe we go back and forth or maybe we just start with one, but we are in the fourth Gospel during this time together, and it is in John. And remember, John is written by the disciple John and the apostle John. And so we will be throughout John for the seven I am statements. So yesterday we talked about Jesus being the bread of life. Today we are talking about Jesus being the light of the world. So I have a candle here that's on. I also have my little flashlight that we can see. And so as we talk about light today, I'm also wearing my shirt that says be salt and light because you'll remember uh, there are verses that Jesus is saying for us to then be salt and for us to be light. We are to be um, light in this dark world. But let's go back and we'll talk about Jesus and how he is saying that he is the light of the world. So I wanna start with John, the very first chapter so if you have your Bible, I would encourage you and um, welcome you to open it up with me and to read with me John 1. And we're going to read the first five verses of John 1. And it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. In Him was life. And that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. So even in John, it's talking about back when the creation of the world was, in, was happening, Jesus was there. He is the Word, the big W, the big Word. He is the Word. He was with God, and He was God. So Jesus is God. So Jesus is saying that he is the light of the world. And even here, it's talking about that the light, the light shines in the darkness. So in John 8, 12, if you go back a few more chapters, John 8, 12 says, Jesus spoke to them again, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Have you ever been in a really dark room before? Um, maybe as a child, you know, you're scared of the dark um, and you have a little nightlight um, on your wall in your room that, that helps bring light to the room, doesn't it? So it's not quite so dark. But it can be kind of scary, can't it? Um, if you, or maybe if you've ever played a game and you're blindfolded and you, you have to kind of feel around and, and you can't see in the dark, can you? So it can be scary. Well, in the Word, when we're talking about darkness, what are we talking about exactly? What would Jesus be saying that he's the light in what kind of darkness? What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about spiritual darkness. You know, that Jesus came to free us from sin, didn't he? You know, we talk a lot about that. Because that is, that is our number one issue, isn't it, boys and girls? That Jesus came. That is why he came. 
was to die for you and me to get rid of that sin once and for all. You and I are sinners and we sin every day and we need Jesus in our lives. We need to be repenting every day and becoming clean with our sin. And that is what keeps us in the dark, isn't it? And Jesus came to bring light. You know, when we shine light on things, all of a sudden now we can see, right? We can see. And so in order to understand what we're meaning, um, we have to remember what darkness that we're talking about, that we're really talking about spiritual darkness. And being in the dark spiritually is a, is a sad and lonely and terrifying place to be, isn't it? And so we want Jesus to be our light. We want him to shine in front of us and his word to shine so that we can see things as they are, so that we can know where to go, right? We need Jesus as our light. And so um, as we close, I want to share um, a verse in Psalm 119. And, you know, Psalms, they are beautiful um, poems and songs that we can read that um, many of them were written by David. Um, and he, he cried out to God a lot of times. He worshiped God. Um, they are so full of truth and, and we can identify so much with them. And Psalm 119 is one of those psalms. It's a long psalm. And there's so many awesome things inside the psalm that I want you to read one, one day. Take the time and read it. But one verse is Psalm 119, 105. And it says, Your word, your word, God, is a lamp to my feet. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light on my path. So his word can go before us and it can shine the way and it will light up our path so we know which way to go. You know, if you, if you are walking in the woods or you're walking somewhere at night, you know, you want to have a flashlight, don't you? You know, I know that when we go to summer camp, we ask the kids to bring, we ask y'all, to bring flashlights because at night it can get really dark. And so a flashlight will illuminate everywhere you go as you walk forward. And so Jesus is saying, I am the light. I am the light in the darkness. I have come to be the light. And so for us to, when we get lost along the way, when we might veer off and get caught in the dark, Jesus is saying, Come back. I'm the light. I will point you in the right direction according to his word. And so I encourage us all today to get in his word. His word is a light and a lamp to our, our path. And so um, let's remember that today. Let's be encouraged that Jesus lights our way. He wants to light your way. He doesn't want you or me to be in the dark. He wants us to be on the right path. And he is God. He is saying, I am. And so that is showing that he is God. So he loves you. He has a plan for you. He wants to guide you in the right way. And I hope and pray today that you will be obedient to that and that you will continue walking forward in him. I hope you all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for our third I Am Statement. Bye-bye.